Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. We're taking a look at another product here from Road Trek. This is their 2023 Road Trek Zion. So this is gonna have the latest chassis updates on our Ram Pro Master chassis here with the new touchscreen, push to start, some other goodie safety features now, which I'll be sure to show you. But uh, being on the Ram Pro Master chassis, we're only 20 feet, nine inches in length, perfect for parking in your regular parking spots. Nice, easy drive. You're not really limited on where you can go. So I'll take around the outside, inside of the coach here. See if this might be for you. So this is one of my favorite uh, B vans to sell here at Fretz RV, at least on a Ram Promaster chassis. I'll tell you what Road Trek is doing here on this. It kind of separates them from the rest of the uh, manufacturer crowd here. But starting along the passenger side, you will find you have a nice big power awning that comes across here. It's got LED lighting for you. Tinted coach windows, which are going to be great for your overall privacy, privacy and uh, climate control. I want you to notice along the outside, the painted pieces here. You got full body, you know, paint along all here. Road Trek actually takes a lot, all the trim pieces off, paint them themselves. You'll see the front is all painted the side. Take a look at the competitor here. You'll see you have black plastic moldings. So the Road Trek actually takes the time to take these pieces off, paint them. Again, just talking about quality and features, Road Trek goes the extra step to be able to do these things for you. I want to open up your passenger door here so that you can see. Standard on all the Road Trek Zions. You got power steps, one for the passenger side, driver's side, your main entry door here. They go in and out with the coach. Unless you have the step lock on, you can leave it stepped out if you like, which is a really nice feature. It helps to step up, get into the coach. More comfortable feature. Down below here, you actually have a flap which opens up. You'll find your propane tank that is hidden down below here for filling it up, turning the valve to get your propane flowing through here. Some other upgrades for 2023 on the Road Trek Zion. You have more lithium battery uh, capacity on here. You now have 600 amp hours of lithium battery compared to the 400 amp hours. 3000 watt inverter on board here so that you're able to run all of your appliances, your air conditioner, your cooktop, if you have the induction, all off the inverter and battery setup. There's also 300 watts of solar up on the roof to be able to trickle charge those batteries. The back here, I've opened up the doors. You can see you do have a nice big roll down screen here that will drop down off of your privacy, or you can just have the screen, get the bugs out, let the nice breeze in on a nice day. Nice floor plan here. We have the side facing sofa. They do have another floor plan where you can have the rear forward facing sofa, which would put a bench seat across the back. This is my overall favorite floor plan like this because you get the overall most space. You can walk all the way back. You can see you've got great cabinetry that's lined all the way along the bottom here. Also along the bottom on this side. So it gives you the most amount of storage space on a Ram Pro Master chassis in the industry on this Road Trek Zion. You'll see now you have your Lagoon table mounted in the back here. It's got its own spot. You got a spot in the rear here, one up in the front to be able to mount that. Also back here, you've got a storage bin compartment. Now this side is a power sofa, so this will lay down flat. Can, you can join these two in the middle here. There's a frame that comes across, so you can have a nice big king size bed back here. I'll be sure to show you here in a bit more on how you can do that. Short power cable would get hooked up back here. You do have an outside shower, which is nice. If you don't want to do any uh, outside rinsing off, you can do so. Come along the driver's side, also new for 23. It has the Truma AquaGo hot water heater and the Truma furnace. So this is actually going to be a more efficient system. They've got the eco mode, the comfort mode. They used to have Gerard um, uh, or, uh, water heaters that were on here that were propane furnaces. This is just going to be more efficient for you. Tucked down underneath here, you do have a panel that opens up. For your black holding tank, you do have a macerator on board as well as a gravity fed dump. So you can either pump out your waste or use the gravity fed system, whichever you prefer to use but it's nice to be able to have uh, both you have a hose connected full time for the master radio you don't have to bring a stinky slinky along with you it's attached full time it's a nice thick hose what's great about road trek is they are not a publicly traded company so if you think your other manufacturers they care about making the most for their shareholders most money so how do they do that they cut corners road trek doesn't do that since they're not publicly traded you know they'll they'll make sure that even the places you can't see are uh, really nice like inside your cabinetry to the wires if you open up drawers and cabinets you'll find that other manufacturers have cut corners but not here on the road track opening up your main entry door here you've got a drop down screen for your entry section coming up you of course do have a countertop extension here some outlets you'll have 110 a usb some 12 volt outlets scattered throughout the coach let's get you inside here 
Some nice colors. They've changed some colors for 2023 from the leatherette to your cabinetry. This is a pretty overall color combination here, but let's get you up on your touch screen here. This is where you're gonna control the coach on your flyer fly system. So you've got master lighting switch, check your tank levels, adjust your Truma Aqua Go, your climate control for your air conditioner and uh, your heater. Sofa extend and retract, your sofa in the rear. Again, is power, so you push a button. There's also a button in the rear I'll show you to be able to lay this down flat. Check your battery voltage, turn on your inverter, and you have a lighting page, your climate control page, and then an overall settings page. Coming down to the galley area, nice Corian countertops, heavy duty, stainless steel sink. That's the filter for your Truma system right there, since this unit is winterized. Induction cooktop, which is nice. Again, this runs right off the inverter, right off the batteries. No need for a generator on board at all. You can run everything off the inverter and the batteries. You do have a microwave up top, which is nice. Storage down below. Again, quality built cabinetry all the way around. You'll see there's even a bin down below here with some shelving. As you come towards the back, all of your cabinets have these push locks so that you can open them up. There's hanging space in here, just some pillows and some storage, your table leg for your lagoon table, and then a nice amount of overhead cabinetry as you come back as well. Road Trek does give you a smart TV on board. And what's nice about your windows is they do have either privacy shade or a screen so that you can choose whichever one you, what you like. And now if you separate these, there is a window over here that opens. So you'll notice some coaches don't have rear opening windows. This is a great feature to have, to have open windows because if you're sitting down, you want a nice cross breeze, let some air flow in, you can sit back here and have these windows do that for you. Cabinetry over the top here, two big cabinets across the top. And then again, for your seating arrangement back here, your two uh, twin beds, if you want to call it, or your big bed, you can sit here, have the lagoon table mounted. I'll be sure to throw up a picture so that you can see uh, exactly what this looks like in a bed configuration or if you have the lagoon table set up. I don't want to forget, you've also got a switch back here for the sofa. Plenty of outlets up on the top, reading lights that come across. Coming back here towards the front area, five cubic foot fridge. You've got a fridge and a freezer. This is a 12 volt compressor driven fridge. So it's very efficient. These cool down pretty quick. And again, it's great size having both fridge and separate freezer. Again, going along with the most storage in a Ram Pro Master Class B. You've got a pull out pantry because why wouldn't you? And then down below here, another huge storage bin. I mean, this is massive. It's wide, deep, goes back. Store your pots and pans in here. Some other goodies. And then coming back to your wet bath here, you unlock down below. And you'll find your wet bath. So you got the toilet with the foot flush, your shower head, you've got a light. What's nice about these bathrooms is you see how you have this clip here. You can actually attach it to this door here and kind of frame your door so that you get more elbow space on the inside when you close the curtain over. So you don't have to have the doors completely closed in order to do your bathroom. So you can leave that door kind of framed, give yourself some extra space, lock it away when you don't need it. And in the kitchen area above that, you do have a nice big fan above. So again, for airflow or if you're cooking over here, want to get some air out, you can do so from here. You do have the overhead storage above your cab area also for tucking things away up above there. And then again, coming up to your front cab area, the updates, a nice touchscreen, built-in navigation. The camera looks nice. They've changed the shifter, leather wrap steering wheel. You can see this mirror up above. It's actually not a mirror, it's a camera to see what's going on behind you. Digital display, wireless charging, plenty of cup holders. These seats do swivel to face this way. So if you want to sit and have your lagoon table mounted up here, you can do so. One other feature I don't want to forget to mention is underneath the hood, you have a second alternator dedicated to the batteries. It's a 280 amp alternator. So let's say if you're out boondocking, your batteries get low, you're able to just start up the engine. And then in about an hour to two hours, depending where you're at battery wise, it will just charge up the batteries while you're staying stationary, turn off the engine, and you're good to go for the rest of your day 
on your 600 amp hour lithium battery system. So again, this is the 2023 Road Trek Zion at Fretz RV of Satterson, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'm sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to keep up with further content. Got plenty more coming for you here. It's a little colder out these times of year, but I'm going to battle the uh, cold and get the content rolling. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.